Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. It's a very early day here for us here in London. Okay. We woke up at 6 a.m., y'all. Earliest we've been up in quite some time. Yeah, it's still dark out. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we are headed to a brand new country today. We are headed to Turkey. We are going to Turkey, finally. Yeah, we have so many friends who've been there, and we've been so jealous watching all their videos. Yeah, well, and they keep saying that it's amazing. Like, the food's great. The views are great, the people are great. So now we're gonna go and see how great it is. Yeah, so we're uh, gonna do a one hour train ride Ooh. over to the airport and then hopefully no issues, not gonna be late. Yeah. I'm sure, we like a stress free travel day, but I'm sure it's more entertaining for you guys if things go wrong, <laughs> but we're hoping nothing goes wrong. See, I feel like something always goes a little askew. Yeah. All right, Turkey, here we come. Now we have to buy a ticket to Stansted and check it out, 17 pound. We did not realize it was quite that much. We didn't oh quite look it up God. correctly. Damn. Whew. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. 84 pound, y'all. So now we know there's a bus that leaves from the bus station that I believe is just 8 pounds. Yeah. But it takes maybe three times as long, I think. They said it would take two hours. This should get us there within 30 minutes. Yeah. Uh. All right. The good news is we're right on time because this thing's just about to leave. We were close, but it looks like it's about 50 minutes, so just about an hour to get there. But still probably the quicker option, I would say. Yeah, than the well, bus. we were there, the, they said the bus would take an hour and 45 minutes, maybe more depending on traffic. So that's why we didn't think to take it today. And we thought we were doing all rail, so we thought, oh, it'll be affordable. Oh, it is not. We've made it to Stansted. I crashed out hard during that <laughs> ride. I was Except out. They have Wi-Fi on that train, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah, expensive, but super quick, super easy. Yeah, not you too can bad. Sleep, you can catch up on emails. Whatever yeah. you need to do. And I realize I don't think we've been to this airport before. I don't think so. It's one that I think it's um, pretty affordable to fly in and out of. I guess it's hard, but to, hard get to, to get to. But that's the, true of most uh, airports around London, I'd yeah. say. So I think we're gonna uh, check these bags for this journey and then hop our flight. Should be good, we're on time. We're on yeah. time, y'all. Yeah, new country, we're flying a new airline today too, Pegasus. Pegasus, so don't know what to you expect. Know how it goes. Hope it's good. So we had to actually go to the counter and get checked in. Um, but one thing to note is that you do have to have a visa to enter Turkey, but they make it very simple. Mm -hmm. It's like an electronic visa. You just go online, give them some money, fill out a form, and then they send it to your, you can send it to your phone. It costs us 20 USD plus 55 cent processing fee, so yeah. 20 55. Not too bad. And we thought we were going to have to give it to them over there, but we haven't had to show it to no. anybody yet. Now we just have to get through security, find our gate, doing good. Question as usual, where do we eat at? We knew that our bags were going to be over the limit, so we paid to check them. But if you pay like five more bucks, you each get a sandwich. So we oh, technically get that. one sandwich on this flight. Yeah. But I need something now, because yeah. I'm about to pass out. <laughs> They've got a lot of options around here, but we saw a pret a manger over there. I think that's where we're going. They have these awesome little protein bowls that I've been eating most of the time. Good for a quick little snack. This one has salmon, spinach, and egg. This one looks better. So it turns out we had no idea, but we have to ride a bus over to our terminal. And it doesn't say anywhere if this is the line to do that, but I think it is. It's a big old mess. Yeah. And the guy in charge is very disgruntled. Yeah, so we're trying not to even look at him because he's getting he's getting on some people. Well, I'm glad that we got here early though, because this yeah. I would we, be freaking out yeah, right now. We just didn't know we had to do this at all. When you get to the terminal, you go as normal. Yes, sir. <laughs> whatever he says, I'm doing. I don't know where the flights are going. I'm don't ask him a question, whatever you do. He does not like answering questions. We're on the bus and it's moving. How much time do we have? I have like 45 minutes, I think. Minutes? They did make an announcement as we were heading down to people on our flight that it was starting to board. We'll be so our fine. Our flight's starting to board? Maybe. I didn't want to tell All you right. because I needed free, but nice. we're on our way now. Always looking out for me. <laughs> Gate number seven, Istanbul. That's us. Yeah. 
Well, we were hoping they were going to have like um, in-flight entertainment, but you can see they have nothing. And uh, we didn't really download anything. So I might be kind of screwed. Um, I do have a vlog to edit, but I hate editing on the plane because, you know, it's so tight here. It makes it really difficult. Yeah. What? But. Tight? It's not tight. <laughs> got our little workstation set up. We're actually managing to get some work done. We never get work done on flights because we're just so cramped in here. And it's not easy because my laptop's huge and I'm all like scrunched up in here, but get some yeah. stuff done. Took a little break for uh, lunch or whatever you call this. This is what I picked up at Pret-a-Manger earlier. It's like little uh, shrimps or prawns or something. And then a half of an avocado on top of some lettuce here. Seemed pretty simple and nice. And then uh, Allison already ate. She's just working over here. <laughs> Working hard while Eric snoozed. Yeah, I was sleeping I ate, for a good little I wrote bit. A blog post. This but girl now is he's on waking it. up and doing stuff. I got jealous of her getting so much done, so I was like, eh, I better do something. <laughs> We've arrived in Turkey. Flight was super simple, um, but the uh, border control line was pure chaos. We had this nice line going and it was going slow, but then another plane came in and a huge horde of people just ran in front of everybody. Yeah, they and people got mad, oh, man. It was yeah. insane. I've never seen such a group of people be so rude yeah, and, and of just course, completely disregard any sort of like structure. Yeah, and uh, you can't film there, so I yeah. couldn't really get a shot of it, but man, Everyone was real mad, but we were trying to keep our cool. Yeah. But it ended up taking a bit longer because of that. Yeah, and then we tried to get some money out, and none of the ATMs had an option for English. And of course, we don't know a word of Turkish yet. Um. <laughs> but we found out if you put your card in the machine, then it'll pop up with language options. Yeah, for so, some reason, you have to, we didn't think to do that. But <laughs> anyways, we are going to, I think we can get into the lounge uh, for pretty cheap with yeah. our Pegasus Air ticket. Yeah, so we're going to go try that. We are in the lounge. It's the ISG lounge. We're trying to be a little bit quiet because it's pretty quiet in here. <laughs> but it's easy to get to, right? Past departures, just down on the right a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and it cost us 21 bucks. We got a discount because we had our Pegasus uh, boarding pass. And that was for both of us, 21 yeah. USD for both. And it looks like they have some food over there. There's not very many people in here. There's plenty of outlets, so probably and worth it. <laughs> supposedly Wi-Fi, they give us a nice code. Mm -hmm. So this is where we're going to be chilling for a little layover. Oh yeah, I don't know if we mentioned it, but we're heading to like the Cappadocia region. We're going to chill there for a week or yep, so. About a week. Yeah, and then we're going to come back to Istanbul where we are right now and then see the city. We're trying to do it in reverse. Usually we go to the city first and then the small towns. So we're trying to do the opposite of that. Yeah, I think it'll be yeah. easier to go far away and then when we leave Istanbul it'll be a lot easier to travel out. Yeah. yeah. It. We found our guy. He had our name on his card anyway. We have arrived to our cave we made room. It. We're in a cave again. <laughs> they have a bunch of cave houses that you can uh, rent, and when we saw the, all of them on Airbnb, we were like, yeah, we're going to get one of those. Um, and they're actually really affordable. Yeah, this one especially is super affordable. We'll make sure to link to it down below if yeah. you want to stay here. And lots of cool photo spots. Um, we were just kind of moseying around outside. It's all dark now, yeah. obviously. Oh, but and most of the places here come with a free breakfast. So we'll have to mm -hmm, be checking mm -hmm. that out and show you guys in the morning. But it looks like an insane spread. It's going to be so yummy. Oh, yeah, we're going to be eating a lot of food here. Gosh, I can't wait. When we landed at the airport, our baggage was nowhere to be found. So we were like, oh, boy. Our worst fears are coming to fruition. But then they were like, oh no, come over to this other area. So we had to walk outside near the airplanes and then to this other area. And then we still couldn't find our bags. We walked over to the two security guys and they were going crazy over something, but they were speaking Turkish, I guess. We couldn't really understand a word they were saying. And they made me come around and look at the x-ray. They wouldn't open the bag. And they said, what is this? What is this? And it looked like a, looked like an assault rifle <laughs> in my bag. I was, was like, yeah. what the fuck? It was my GoPro uh, monopod that I showed off in previous videos and an umbrella. 
and I wish I could have taken a picture of it because you guys, it looked like a, an automatic weapon. <laughs> I don't know, but they were hooting and hollering at him, ask, yep. trying to ask him what it was, and he was like, I, I yeah. don't know. I yeah, think and it's a, a woman was trying thing. to translate, and I was they were saying like asking me how much it was. What, what I paid for and all this weird questions and they were kind of laughing while they were doing it so I was laughing quite a bit because I was so confused yeah I don't know but, but I, our poor driver I think was waiting for us for quite a while and we were supposed to come out of domestic but they had sent us over to international and everyone was just confused with us and yeah but, and of course I couldn't really film any of that it's it's unfortunate because it's nice to capture that kind of stuff but you can't really point a camera in situations like that because I usually get pretty pissed but no. anyways um, I really can't tell how long this video is so I feel like it's probably too long so we should probably shut up and <laughs> go to bed oh yeah it's but also it's also really also late midnight here yeah. So we should probably go to bed so we can try to get up early-ish tomorrow. The time change, huh? it's going to be fun. It's yeah. like a three-hour difference from London. All right, welcome back. We're going to be doing some fun stuff. Can we tell them what we're doing? Uh, stay tuned for all the fun adventures we're going to be doing here in Turkey. Lots We've got some stuff planned. It's going to be very cool. Not just food. All yeah. right, good night adventures. We'll see you on the road.